Things are a little different at Fort Knox. Right, well, march, clears, halt, forward, march, left, left, right, left, forward, march. Being a military installation, uh, your parents move a lot to like two to three years at one place due to their job. JJ Jones has moved five times by the age of 17. He's an outside linebacker and an example of just how difficult it is to play at Fort Knox High School. You know, our kids are some of the toughest kids in America, I feel, for what their lifestyle is and what they have to go through. Wes Arnold's job is to make it as normal as possible. You're doing good, man. Thank you. This team we're playing right now, so you have a little scouting for Fern Creek. They're going to be the same thing. They're going to play a lot of man to man. These kids, they come together for maybe one year so they kind of feel defeated when they come in here because they don't have the continuity that other teams do ah. let's go defense let's go fort knox high school is a school that experiences turnover on its roster unlike many schools in the state of kentucky but head coach wes arnold is focused on flipping a culture on the football field that hasn't had a winning season since 2002. so what we're trying to do is just show them that every year is important they're important. Friday, Fort Knox hosted a seven on seven tournament with the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Among the stars in attendance was Hall of Famer Rod Woodson. The Fort Wayne, Indiana native has high hopes for the Eagles this year. Yeah, so I love coming back home and I live in California. California football is a little bit different than the Midwest football. Yeah. Um, so coming back here and watching real ball uh, is fun. Uh, with Fort Knox, uh, you know, hopefully they'll have a good season. So hopefully he'll turn that tide around. Just so honored that our, that our small school is being recognized by these big time names and stuff that we get the opportunity to uh, come out here and learn from them. Dan Koob, WLKY Sports.